hello friends welcome to another tutorial in wave propagation we are doing ground wave propagation and in ground wave propagation line of sight propagation is one of its types so in this video we'll talk about line of sight propagation and its range so let's get started we define the line of sight propagation as the distance that is covered by a direct space wave from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna. And to illustrate that, uh, we take into account the curvature of the earth and we draw a transmitting antenna of height HT. Then I have drawn four receiving antennas R1, R2, R3 and R4. Now please look here in order to transmit the signal from T to R1 no specific effort is required because uh, they are pretty close to each other and we can directly send the signals as the transmitter and receiver can see each other as long as the transmitter and receiver can see each other uh, that will be the qualification for a line of sight propagation and a direct wave can be sent of course the frequency of the wave will play a deterministic role in whether that wave could travel that distance or, or not now let's look at the receiving antenna 2 it also falls into line of sight propagation just barely falls into the line of sight propagation and the height of the receiving antenna 3 is significantly larger as compared to R2 and that is what is making it fall under the uh, line of sight propagation uh, category because now T and R3 can see each other however R4 uh, is a bit short in length as far as line of sight is uh, considered it needs to be of very very significant height in order to counter the curvature of the earth for line of sight propagation so you can see that the curvature of the earth plays a very important role in determining the range of line of sight propagation and that is what we are mathematically going to calculate so if this is the surface of the earth with its curvature we know that the radius of the earth is r let the height of the transmitting antenna be ht the receiving antenna be hr and we've kept the height of these two antennas such that they barely uh, can see each other and the direct wave is touching the uh, surface of the earth in order to uh, see each other the total distance is d and uh, which is further split up into d1 and d2 so we've got right angle triangle made here and the mathematics become very simple in triangle OAB. We know that D1 square plus R square is equal to R plus HT square. So D1 square is equal to R plus HT square minus R square. So we are left with 2R HT plus HT square. This term is pretty large as compared to ht square because the radius of the earth is around 7000 kilometers the above expression reduces to d1 square is equal to r ht and d1 becomes 2 r ht under root and similarly operating on the right and similarly operating on the right angle triangle ocb we can find d2 which is under root 2r hr and the sum of d1 plus d2 is the total distance or the range of space wave propagation which turns out to be under root 2r ht plus under root 2r hr under root 2r becomes common and ht under root plus hr under root and they can be put into one bracket now we know the radius of the earth is 6370 kilometers so expressing in terms of meters you can put a 10 raised to power 3 or if you do not wish to keep it in meters 
then uh, this becomes 3.57 and this whole expression can be written in terms of kilometers and uh, a key point here is that uh, this kind of propagation line of sight of propagation is not suitable for 100 kilometers and above range and if you look at a typical numerical a two marks numerical out of line of sight propagation you can be asked to calculate the LOS range for transmitting and receiving antenna of height 100 meters so you can directly put in the heights here and because of this 3.57 expression uh, the answer will turn out to be in kilometers so 71.4 kilometers is the range of the line of sight propagation which is well within the limits of 100 kilometers range suggested uh, by the experts so this is how line of sight propagation works the transmitting and receiving antennas they need to see each other and the curvature of the earth plays an important part and i hope this quick tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel share the video amongst your friend and i'll see you around in the next video till then take care of your health and stay happy Bye bye